Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my updated planner stack for the month of September going into October. So as you all know, I change things up every time. If you are new to my channel, I use multiple planners. I have seen a lot of um, comments come in recently asking why or how I use um, different planners. So every month on my channel, I share an updated planner stack. Um, if things like drastically change, or if I get comments like that to kind of like address it all in one like like comprehensive video uh, and then I always do whatever planner I'm using an updated flip through so that y'all can see how I set up my pages how I'm using it how I like made changes throughout the month to accommodate whatever's going on throughout the month I'm like very um, open and I say it all the time to changing your planner so that it works for you I mean, life changes all the time, and for me, I feel like things can change month, like weekly, and so I always adapt my planner to fit what's going on. And so um, that's why I have all these changes, and why I always do these end of month flips, because I always think to um, just because um, you might not like need to change it now, maybe one of these can help you down like in the future, and then. I love showing different ways of planning. I love seeing different ways of planning. So I really love um, the end of month flips uh, series on my video, uh, my channel. So let's go ahead and start with the stack. So something that I will point out is that I don't use every single planner every single day. And so I think I'll start by, since we have the glance, these are all of the planners that I have touched this month. And so starting at the bottom of the stack, we have my Hermes um, hourly agenda with a notebook that's actually from St. Laurent, and I'll open these up, but um, this is my professional planner. This is my work planner. It's in the Louis Vuitton agenda cover, so those are tucked in there. We have my 7x9 Erin Condren hourly. My Louis Vuitton um, Epi Leather Agenda is my now monthly home and project planner. So I have monthly inserts and then home and project inserts. Moving up, we have my Louis Vuitton GM Agenda. This is my main agenda. It is my main hourly agenda for all plans. I have my Day Designer Daily Planner. Um, again, Daily Planner. And then I have my Louis Vuitton Medium Ring Agenda. This is my Academic Planner. And then I have my PM Agenda, which is my On The Go Planner. So I like using multiple planners because I like keeping things separated between work and school. So if you are new to my channel, I am a grad student. I work nine to five, I have a, or eight to five, I work a, um, as a content creator, and then I'm also now consulting. So I have large aspects of my life, and the way my brain works, I like keeping things separated, but I also like seeing things. I'm a very visual person, which is why I'm very much into planning, and so if I can separate certain things out, it kind of helps. So for example, my main job, having just one spot where all that goes into, and I only use it when I need it for work, or it's, you know, it's outside of here, is very um, important to me, just because I think if you see a lot of stuff in one, and I think this is why people are like use multiple planners, sometimes you can get overloaded with how much you might have going on. Um, with that, I also like being able to see everything going on in an hourly view, but sometimes that's not just what I need to visually see. I need to see the breakdown or in-depth details somewhere else. So a little context there. Um, I go back and forth between my Erin Conjure and using my Erin Conjure hourly planner. So let me actually show you these as we talk about them. So let's start again with the professional planner. So I didn't do a flip on this one this month because nothing really changes. I have my notebook in here and then I have the agenda refill. And so I just use this to track meetings and to-do lists for work. And then this stays in my desk and I just grab it whenever I need it. As for the hourly, this is my, I always say, my old reliable. I started really planning in a day designer, but then when I really got into the planner community and sharing content, um, once I discovered Erin Condren, it like changed the game. And so I've always used an hourly. And while I might not use this every single week or every day, um, it's just something that, you know, I'm familiar with. And so I always come back to. And so this, um, 
month I kind of predicted and I knew that in the like September, October, November, December time frame uh, I like decorating so I have a subscription kit to the planner spot and I just love all the planner stickers that come for these months um, and so I just personally like planning during these months in here I think just because I love the decorative aspect of it um, but again I have an hourly view which is nice um, I can also like use this to make lists and Again, it's just like an old reliable planner. And I, while I might not use it every single day, it's just something that I like having in my system because if I ever feel, I don't know, overloaded, I feel like I can always come back to this and it makes me feel better when it comes to like managing my time. Because a lot of times I feel like we have a, like we think we have a lot going on, but once I write it down, it makes it a lot better. And so another reason why I'm like pro planner. This is the home and project planner. So this is where all the plans come into first. So this has my monthly inserts and I have a full flip on this video. So whenever a plan happens, I come in here and I put it in. And then when I'm planning for the week, I transition everything from in here to in here. This also has um, an academic overview just with all of my assignments. I will be doing, um, adding some home inserts in here during October for Vlogtober where we'll be working on that. And then I also have my finance in here. So this also contains my budgeting. And then I have my consulting inserts in here. So it has um, like a section for that. And then I just have general notes. So home and project, everything's kind of in here for things that I do on the side in addition to my job. So school as well as finance and home items and then consulting. So that's in there. I have a secondary planner for consulting. I haven't really used it. This is just one. I haven't really done much for consulting since I've been traveling, um, which is the best part about like consulting is I can pick and choose my times, especially now that I don't have clients right now. Um, but I have this in here. And so like I said, I'm showing all the planners that I've used this month, but I've shared this in the past um, and it's just additional planner ready to go whenever I need it but thought I would call that out. This stays on my planner cart with that other planner just because I really only use it if maybe once a week. It all depends. Um, so I use it, of course, when I'm setting things up. If it's a pay week, then I'm using it for the finances. Um, but for the most part, it stays on my planner cart because I don't use it every single day. And then I have my GM. So this is my main, plan my main agenda. This stays open on my desk. All that is in here is an hourly and so yes I use multiple hourly systems but this is my main hourly everything goes in here I know everything's in here again it stays open on my desk so um I'm trying not to put too many lists in here unless it's like relevant and I've been trying to list in my p.m. agenda and so that way it's again that overview of the week I see what's going on I know what's like happening I know if we're doing something if we're not if I'm when I'm studying all the above and so that's just my general overview in my Erin Condren hourly it'll typically be more full than this so I'll really break down like I'll add in like work meetings and stuff in here too if it gets too in depth because it's I use this to really map out the full day and so again I can get over like stimulated with that like if I were to see you know how all the blocks really look in my life but um, I think that's why I like having the two different hourlies, the two different options of like high level overview. Here's what you have to like, here's what's going on. And then here's the breakdown. And I think there's also days where you just don't need a breakdown, right? Like you want to be able to relax. You don't want to see all that. And so I think that's why I like having two hourlies in my system. It's a, and that's why I also don't really use my Aaron Condren every single month. It's just a balancing act. So that is my main agenda. And then I mentioned my pocket, so I'm just going to bring it up. So this is my on-the-go planner. It stays in my purse, and it has all of my lists. And so that's why I said that I mentioned that I try not to put too many lists in that hourly in my GM because I put them in here, and I don't want to repeat too much. And I don't know, I like this. Like, I like having this um, to... I, I was traveling here, so there's more in here. But I like having the breakdowns and all the lists in here so it doesn't clog up my GM. And then I've been using this more frequently than I have um, since I got it just because of being like just because I've been using this to list everything out. And so that's something that if you feel like when you're using multiple planners that um, you 
realize, oh, well, I don't gravitate towards that. It's probably because whatever you're, what you intended to use a planner for, you're doing that somewhere else. Um, like listing, for example, if I have all my lists in my GM, then why would I put it in my PM? Because that's just additional work. And so sometimes it works, right? Like there's repeat stuff like appointments and whatnot. But when you're, if you're doing the exact same thing in one planner, then you are the other, you're going to gravitate towards one to make things easier on your life. And then you won't find the need for that. So that's why too, when it comes to using multiple planners and why I have so many, if you separate them out, everything has a purpose. And then it, you actually use these planners. And I think a lot of people want to use all their planners all the time. And if that's what you want to do, then I highly recommend maybe using only one or two planners. As you've seen, like with my monthly, my consulting, I use them when I need them. That's how I've set them up. And I know that and I'm okay with that. Same with this. If I'm like home for three days, I'm not going to touch this, right? Like I'm not going to have things to do. So we have that. And then we have my final two planners. So the media marine agenda, as I mentioned, is my academic planner. And so if I'm not studying or preparing something for school or, you know, trying to plan out study times, I'm not in this planner. I have a breakdown for my dissertation in here. I'm not at that phase yet. So this is one of those planners where I might only touch up like one or two times a week based on whenever I'm studying. And typically it's like beginning of the week, end of the week when I'm working on assignments. Again, this is how I set it up and it works. The system is in place for a reason. And so personally that works for me and how I plan. And I think that's ultimately what you have to look at whenever your planning is what works for you and your planning system to help you stay on track and stay organized. So this stays on my desk so I can easily grab it as well. I have an acrylic stand on my um, desk and I'll like show y'all. So I have work phone, personal phone, but this is where my computer is. And so I like to keep this here next to my glasses and I can easily grab it when I go from work to school. So we have that. And then the final planner is my day designer. So I haven't used this as frequently as um, I did when I first got it. And I think it's because I've been gone, right? So like when I was traveling, I didn't really use it. And when I came back, I only really needed to use my hourly which is fine. This is here for, again, whenever I need to like have a true breakdown for the day. I don't force myself to use any planner. I know I repeat myself when I say that, but I think it's really important. Don't force yourself to use a system that's not working or don't force yourself to use something that you don't need to use. Um, it Then it has like the opposite effect. And so I'm okay, again, with not using something if I don't need it. And so with this, I've been keeping it in my desk and grabbing it whenever like days get very overwhelmed. So as y'all can see, like weekends, I don't really touch it. But like this weekend, we had a lot of plans with friends. So I didn't really like gravitate towards it. Um, but there are days where I just need to like list out everything that I need to do and plan things out. And so that's when I grab this and it works. So yeah, this stays in my desk as well next to my professional planner. And let me actually show you all that. So right here, we have my professional planner and my daily. And so I'll just grab them whenever I need them. And then, yeah. Other than that, that is going to be it for this video. That is my updated planner stack. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.